On this site, there's about eight kilometres worth of eroding gullies that are suitable for timber dams. This amounts to about a thousand dams across a hundred hectare area. And amazingly, within days, they're doing their job and beginning to change the hydrology of the site. Well, I think people will be firstly surprised at the amount of water that's actually held up here. Obviously, the amount of rain that's, that's coming down and the water that's held villages and small towns that don't have the area to hold it. Floodplains just, if you don't hold it up here, you can't stop it when it gets down downhill. So these timber dams that we're building should have, hopefully hold off quite a lot of the water and uh, stop flooding downstream. Josh is one of the team that's been involved in constructing these dams and I really take my hat off to them. It's not an easy job to do, as the conditions are just so challenging. Oh well, first and foremost, it's the weather really. Um, the weather can be like this, or it can be dire. And you're just facing all, all different types of weather up here. Uh, obviously carrying big boards of timber around, it's, it's quite a struggle with the wind. 50 mile an hour plus winds all week, so we'll just have to see how it goes really. Then there's the peat itself. Yeah, you, you're looking a foot deep, if not more in most places. So. Getting the dams into running channels of water over unstable layers of eroded peat presents its own unique challenge. Owen keeps falling over, which is brilliant. It brightens the mood a little bit when he's sat down and we're all laughing at him, so. Oh, honestly, are you, you, you're carrying a bit of wood from literally like 10 metres and you're sinking and you're like, oh no, this is not the day for it, but it's all right. You get out of it in the end, get on with it.